This video is part of the iGEM Academy series, A Beginner's Guide. This tutorial explains how to prepare competent E. coli cells using CCMB80 buffer. Wild-type E. coli is inefficient at taking up plasmids. Therefore, E. coli cells can be modified with CCMB80 buffer in order to make them more competent at taking up plasmids. The buffer is used in order to make the E. coli cell more permeable to incoming plasmid DNA. For this protocol, the following are required. An SOB plate containing single colonies, SOB medium, which you can learn how to prepare by clicking the link, calcium chloride, potassium acetate, manganese chloride, magnesium chloride, distilled water, SOC medium, which you can learn how to prepare by clicking the link, and glycerol. The Bunsen burner will provide aseptic conditions to prevent contamination. The first step in preparing competent cells is to grow and create a stock of a bacterial culture. 5 milliliters of SOB medium is transferred to a tube. The inoculation loop is sterilized by passing it through the hottest part of the flame. It's allowed to cool. The loop is further cooled on a part of agar that does not contain colonies. A single colony is then scooped up. The colony is transferred to the tube containing SOB medium. The culture is allowed to grow overnight in an incubator at 23 degrees Celsius with shaking. To prepare competent cells, 250 milliliters of SOB medium is inoculated with 1 milliliter of the cells prepared earlier. The culture is allowed to grow at 20 degrees Celsius for about 16 hours until the optical density measured at 600 nanometers equals to 0.3. Optical density is used for obtaining the concentration of bacteria suspended in SOB. To calculate optical density, the absorbance measured at 600 nanometers is multiplied by 10. Before continuing with the process of making competent cells, make sure to have the CCMB80 buffer. The CCMB80 buffer is prepared by combining in a glass bottle 2.35 grams of calcium chloride, 0.2 grams of potassium acetate, 0.8 grams manganese chloride, 0.4 grams magnesium chloride. 180 milliliters of distilled water is added. The salts are dissolved in the water by swirling the bottle. Once all the salts are dissolved, 20 milliliters of glycerol is added so that the final volume in the bottle is 200 milliliters. The buffer is then stored on ice. For the next part, falcon tubes are pre-chilled on ice. Once the optical density is at or around 0.3, the culture is removed from the incubator and allowed to sit on ice for 15 minutes. The culture is divided between 5 pre-chilled falcon tubes by adding 50 milliliters of the culture into each tube. An additional falcon tube is filled with water and serves as the balance tube. The tubes are centrifuged at 3000 G at 4 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. As much of the supernatant as possible is removed without disturbing the pellet. The pellets are resuspended by adding 16 milliliters of ice cold CCMB80 buffer into each tube. The resuspended pellets are left to incubate on ice for 20 minutes. As before, the tubes are centrifuged at 3000 G at 4 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. The supernatant is disposed of carefully. The pellets are resuspended by adding 2 milliliters of ice cold CCMB80 buffer into each tube. If using multiple containers, such as in this video, combine the cells post resuspension. Use the nanodrop to measure the optical density of a mixture of 200 microliters of SOC medium and 50 microliters of the resuspended cells. Use a mixture of 200 microliters of SOC and 50 microliters of CCMB80 buffer as the blank. Add chilled CCMB80 to yield a final optical density of 1 to 1.5 in this test. 
the resuspended pellets are then incubated on ice for 20 minutes. Aliquots are then made into pre-chilled cryotubes and the cells can be stored at minus 80 degrees Celsius. These cells can now be used for transformation. The transformation of competent cells is the topic of the next tutorial in this series. Thank you for watching. This video is brought to you by the TCD iGEM team 2015. To go directly to the next video in the series, a beginner's guide, please click on the link provided.